Good morning. Good morning. Afternoon or evening. <laughs> Whenever you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> well, Middle of the night, who knows? I had a great weekend of boot sales and sales. So. Well, we had a very enjoyable weekend, even yeah. though they were smaller sales than have been all through the summer. You know, we're right up to the end of season. Yeah. And it was filthy weather on Friday, and I honestly thought that Saturday morning boot sale would be cancelled. Yeah. But Billy had said, I'll check the ground in the morning, check first thing in the morning, bear with me. And then checked it first thing in the morning because we'd actually decided to have a lane. Yeah, we had. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm running into the other room. It's, it's all it's on. <laughs> Quickly get up. But we, we managed to get up, feed the dogs, fly down there, yeah. go to the cash point on the way. And we still got there. Ten Inter minutes before, because yeah. yeah, yeah. we are seasoned boots. We are, we are. <laughs> By the way, uh, if you'd like to see what sold this weekend, wait till the end of the film. We're going to do it after the show and tell of what we picked up. So there's going to be what actually sold for me this weekend. Um, so um, as as normal, excuse the noise in the background. Yeah, two puppies having a play, play wrestle. Um, anyway, so um, I it was Faygate and um, I had twenty pounds. Um, and, um, yeah, so what happened is I was walking around and I was looking for cameras, as I do, and, um, I just passed another reseller with a trolley. Uh, panic, like, panic, 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 so I was alarm. going, <laughs> alarm, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Neil, I've just noticed you've left your coffee all the way up. It's there. fine, it's fine, oh, I'll okay. pick it up next time. Um, so... Panic, 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 because I then see, I'm going to move Jan's thing there, this black box full Phew, of, over. Full of cameras. <laughs> I got there first. <laughs> That's not quite what I was thinking. It was, but it was I know okay. you. But then, and it was a case of, I said, how much for the cameras? And she said, two pounds each. And I said, how much for the whole box? Uh, I said, you know, I've got 20 quid, I'll offer you 20 quid for the whole box. And they said, yeah, great. I thought she'd ask for 20. <laughs> no. <laughs> she should have said, I oh, should, well, uh, I don't well, know. Well, there was a lot of stuff in it, but the thing it is. came with a free box. It only came with a free <laughs> box. And it was just, because uh, I had a quick rummage. I had a quick rummage. Um, well, let's let's show you some of the stuff. I'm going to go through this quite quickly, because I know some of you aren't into cameras. Um, there's things like this old thing. This is, as far as I and can see, and that's known in the trade as fugly. Fugly. It's also <laughs> well, it is, it's also it? known <laughs> as as kind of a tip fodder. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, what on earth is that thing protruding? I, I know it's supposed to be no, the lens, but I, I don't even want to touch it because it doesn't look. No that idea. Clean. You see. Um, so okay, there is loads of stuff. Right, let me just go out. Out. Sorry about this. Oh, that's good. So, and you think I'm thinking, you know, I, I, I picked it up and I just stuck it in the in the car, and then carried on walking around and that. Oh, yeah, and it, so I got it home and looked at it, and on top were things like this brownie. That looks so much like my very first and, camera. And I looked at the, I looked at some of this thing, stuff and, and thought I'm just. I think that is. It might even be your the one. old camera. <laughs> so when I was like about six. So <laughs> which the, is a long time ago. I looked at some of this stuff and thought, you know, I'm not even going to look. I think I've, I I should have not bought it. But so anyway, the brownie. Well, I've looked it up and actually the brownie goes for I think about four to eight quid. There's the the old Kodaks. Well, I've looked at all the prices I'm about to quote you. Is what the, what some of these have actually sold and completed for on eBay? About four quid. And there's a couple of those Kodaks. Um, I think there were two or three of them, weren't there? Moving on, there's these kind of cameras. Well, is actually, Helena? Helena. Well, looking the, at the the Helenas up. Um, which these are for old film cameras. These have sold for uh, 15 to 30 pounds. Now what I've done is looked at the the maximum and the minimum that these have sold for. So the minimum is 15 pounds I've seen them sold for. There's another one of them. 
which if those two work that's my money back um moving on there was um there's this olympus which is quite a, a nice little camera the trouble is it um uh no that's not a problem with that one that was a different one um so there's this olympus i think that's that's looking at about 30 pounds um we've got another little olympus snap and go and that's got the old-fashioned wind on on the top hasn't it yeah before we have the automatic wind but here is the two camera now um, there's a whole load of other little cameras and there's also um you've also got flashes camera flashes which i didn't bother pricing up but here's the two money ones this is uh an olympus uh it is a, an xa3 um now the the flash unit here is actually a separate unit from the camera detachable. it is detachable the actual cameras if that works uh have sold for 80 pounds and i have have actually seen with the flash there was one that sold for 120 pounds so i'm just going to wrap it up with that well i actually got two of those um looking at the lowest price if i took the lowest price on everything that i wrote down we're looking at about 130 pounds and if i took the highest price we're looking at about 330 pounds so where i thought oh my god what did i do spending 20 quid on an old box of cameras i must i i may have actually done okay uh, obviously they need listing uh, and they'll need cleaning and checking to see what works um, but from oh my god what a stupid thing to do buying a random box of uh, old cameras may have luckily turned out right but it was um, luck rather than judgment I think so you think so anyway that was my Saturday's buys Jeff what have you got right, well my Saturday is behind is that one behind is I it is that showing in the i don't know let's have a look uh no if you move that way jan we'll put it in the middle right it's an old-fashioned wooden clothes horse which i've been looking for a decent clothes horse at the boot sales for the last year or so but all the ones that i've seen up till this point have been kind of a bit grim yeah but this one's in beautiful condition. The, it's got the um, the plastic sleeve over the thing. Yeah, it's nice. I saw it there. The lady selling it um, was having a really big haggling session over a fan with with another lady, and and the lady wanted five pound for the fan, and the other lady was going three, 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 and they were <laughs> she was being so rude, and she was saying, no, I want five, three, 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 and. I don't think the 333 lady had any more English than 333. I think, I think what I would do if I was doing a boot sale, you know those air horns? If someone was coming up being aggressive like that, I want one of those air horns to go beep. But anyway, <laughs> I saw, I'd seen this clothes horse and I'm trying to stay out of this article that's going on next to me. Eventually, I catch the lady's attention and said, How much do you want for the horse? Yeah. And she said, Oh, pound. I said, Great, I'll take it. Brilliant. So then I'm trying to pick it, hold it, and keep my walker because the ground wasn't completely dry. It was yeah, a bit. it was a little bit squidgy. So I'm trying to hang on to my walker, get my money out, put it over my arm, and work out how I'm going to carry it while I find you. Yep. Yeah. Paid her the pound. Trying to sort myself out. Get on the walkie-talkie, Neil. I need your help. And then, so so lucky, a guy turned around to me and said, "You've dropped your purse." We'd just been to the cash point. I had yeah. about 150 quid cash in that purse, plus yeah. all my cards. If you're watching, whoever you are, thank, thank you, you so, very so much. much. You know, I mean, yeah. there, there would have been a hell of an idiot tax to pay on there, wouldn't there? Yeah. But, you know, so managed it and then got on the walkie-talkie. Neil, bring the, bring the big tray. I didn't know you took that much. I could have asked for more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got something. Well, no, because... He got it when we get to the cash point. I'd give him my card and say, "Can you get me so much out?" But he didn't know I already had a purse. <laughs> no. No, banker Jan. Banker Jan. Yeah. <laughs> got to ask for the withdrawal, otherwise you don't know if there's any in there, in there or not. But anyway, so I bought that for a pound, yeah. 
And then Faygate Saturday also guy had a load of brand new toothbrushes, their wisdom, their um new improved regular I just like to have spare toothbrushes in, yeah. in the cupboard so if we get an emergency overnight guest or yeah. if somebody has to go into hospital suddenly and you need just if you need an emergency toothbrush Sounds I just good. like to have one in there yeah or even if you just need one for cleaning Fab. so at 50p each I just said well I'll take four one of them's already been used so so it's good so I spent three pounds on Saturday okay. <laughs> all that money in my purse uh, for... <laughs> I only paid three pounds worth of stuff that I wanted to spend, yeah, but right. three pounds, and it's all for me. None of it is for resale, unless you wanted to buy this for three pounds. Uh, no, that's right. <laughs> don't use them. No, don't use them. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, so Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Sunday, we went to Sayers Common. No, we didn't. Did we? No, no, we didn't. No, Sunday was the day before was today. Last. I was thinking about the filming. I've I've been and editing. We went... I've been late on the editing. You'll see this in a couple of weeks. And we went. Um, have you had your meds today? No, I haven't had meds today. And he either. hasn't had his meds. No, we went um, to Arding Line. Arding Line, because it was South raining. Show. Yeah, there was a undercover. Lot of rain, you know? And all the other boot sales have closed now. Yeah. Our, our local Sunday ones have all closed for the, for the winter. For the winter. So we went over to Arding Line. South England yeah. showground because it's undercover there. It's undercover there. By the way, if you guys don't know about and you're in this area, you should be going to that one. It's they're trying to build it, and if if you if you don't go, it won't build. So um, and they have a fabulous. Um, we didn't buy anything from it, but the um, the the food truck that they've got there. Yes. She actually has this big pan of bacon that's cooking away outside from the little van. And, yeah, oh, you can they smell, smell it's bacon. It's, it's one, just lovely. <laughs> it's this wonderful bacon smell. But anyway, so um, and that's Mick that runs that, isn't Mick, it? Mick, yes. Yeah. So hi, Mick. Yeah, hi, Mick. I uh, hope it went well, and uh, we'll see you at the next well, one. Well, it was a really good one. You know, it was. I mean, as as because it's a an animal shed thing that they do. Um, I think horse agriculture things, things in, or, yeah. and it's got like a sand floor. But as far as cars in there selling, I don't think you could have fitted any more in there. No, but I do think that he's got access to another one of those big barns on days when it gets bigger. It gets bigger, yes. Yeah, so I it think could be I don't big, know for certain, bigger, but, but certainly worth going along. Absolutely. Well, I, I got loads of stuff. Well, I, I think also if if it got bigger, I I think they could. I think they're quite well spread out. I think they could actually... I don't know, by the time... Because if you get there early enough, when you get the early people, you're all right. But as you get there later on, and the families start arriving with children and pushchairs, I mean, there was one child walking around with a, an umbrella that was up that was becoming yeah. quite problematic. And Anyway, let's have a look. Um, well, I've only... I've picked up... Well, I've got a couple of bits, but... Um... I picked up... Loads of well, let's see your first bit from Sunday. Um, right. Well, this one was just sat on a table as I was walking past. I was actually playing a game with myself. I have this thing where I see something I like, and I ask the price, and I think, no, I don't want to play that and pay that. And instead of haggling, I think, right, I'm going to walk off, and then I'll come back to it. And if it's still there, if I can find it, I can buy it. <laughs> And I'd walked off, now I'm trying to find it again. I it's never not, did. <laughs> not the reseller way to really well, do it. It, it's it, was like, only, it was Find a... it like it haggled, the next person might want it. Well, exactly, but it was a Denby mug. I didn't want it for me to keep, so it didn't matter if I didn't buy it. But hobbyist. I couldn't find it. But not, You're a hobbyist. But, I know. <laughs> That's why I don't list all the time. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's why we live in this clutter. Yeah. But anyway, as so I was walking around my second round or something, I saw this. Do you want to show? Because it's got Canon it's quite, written on it. Yeah, so that has got Canon. I think that's what Jan actually spotted, the fact that it was black and said Canon. Is well, that right, Jan? No, the first thing was the fact that it was just a little pouchy thing. And I thought, right. well, you something never know what's in there. In there. Yeah. Picked it up, it said Canon. And I thought, right, OK. Yeah. It's obviously some sort of flash. But I didn't really know anything about it. But just on the fact it's a, it's a... So this is a, um, what is it? as you say, it's a, a, um, a flash for a hot mount uh, on a camera. It's, it is the, um, it's the 
Speedlight 160E. And I was going to show you that and then pass it back to Jen. <laughs> okay. I was going to say it's battery operated. Takes looks like double A size batteries, nice and clean inside. Asked the guy how much he wanted and he said make me an offer and I thought well I've got no idea if it's got any resale value at all. As it turns out it's got almost none. They sell for a between bit. about a pound and a fiver. No, they sell for more oh, than you've that. Seen more than I that? looked I it up look last night for you and I said they sell for about 15 quid. Well I couldn't find one just now that sold for 15. I'm pretty sure it sold for 15. Did you look up that model number? Yeah. I couldn't find any of that model number at all. But anyway, I offered him a pound. He took a pound, so I've got a pound. Right, um, haven't picked up any um, figurines for all oh, quite a few weeks now, have I? No. And I spotted two on the table. There was this one, which is Neo. Had a price on it for seven pound fifty. Boy carrying books in a nightshirt, in lovely condition. And I always run my fingers over these when I'm picking them up because sometimes if they've got a little chip, you can't see it, but you can feel it with a, a sharp edge. But it seemed to be in perfect condition. Seven pound fifty. My budget for a piece of this is ten, so bought myself this. There was also a little um, girl figurine, much smaller than this, which was um, actually Yadro Stant. But she had a, a basket of flowers and one of the petals on the flowers had broken. So I can't remember what he was asking for that one, can you? No. But whatever it was, it was a, a broken piece that is quite repairable, you mm. know, from these experts that repair things. Yeah, but yeah. I don't have those skills, so I'm just wrapping it up and laying it down in case the dog's not on the table and it falls over. Just shooting back to Jan's flashlight uh, for a sec. There we go. £14.95 and £14.74 is sold. That's good then. Let's see if we can show you that. See, I did do the research last night. Thank you. There we go, yeah, so pound into that, really good Jan, nice pick up. Yeah. Um, so I picked up, uh, let's go from my uh, first pick up at that one, uh, saw this little case, you see a case, you never know well, what's in it. That's exactly what I did with that, you yeah. see a case over You it. never know what's in it. And this one just happens to be a nice little Canon camera. Um, this is the, uh, it's a 12.1 um, megapixels, uh, it's the PowerShot A1200 HD, uh, I think there's even power in it and it turns on to the date and that, so that's pretty cool. In fact, that's obviously I'm going to need to charge the battery, test it all works. Um, Looking at these, they're selling at um, about £40 at the moment. Um, and I paid, I'm trying to think what I paid for it now. Uh, might have been five. I gave might... you a little book from last weekend. I bought a pack of three little I notebooks. I didn't take it with me. Oh, yeah. Now, but I think, I, think I paid five. It was either four or five, something like that. So that, that was pretty good. That will that'll turn into 40 quid. So that's pretty cool. What else you got, Jen? Um, I spied this roaster. That's a nice roaster. It's, um, oh, that's something else from Saturday that I've forgotten. It's almost identical to one that I've already got. I've got one like this, only the next size up. Yeah. And I know the one, the next size up was from John Lewis and it was over 60 quid new. Yeah. But they, re I mean, they work really well, don't they? Uh, yeah. I mean, if it, well, if you're doing a roast, it will help to keep your oven clean if yeah. you've got it all in. I mean, you know, back in the day, we covered it all over with tin foil. Yeah. 
but and, reusable you know, with, and with, that with the thing. lid on it helps you roast to, to go crispy on the edges and things yep. and keep your oven clean so I saw this one it said two pounds mm -hmm. and the only thing that I could see as I picked it up it was a bit kind of brown on the bottom and I thought well that's the underside so that won't matter because yeah. it's um enameled isn't it yeah it's enameled yeah but enameled other metal. than that it's in lovely condition but it was when I got it home I realised that all the little brown bits that I thought maybe a touch of rust, rust which I thought I could clean yeah. off was sand from where it from where stood it's up straight the on the floor. Yeah, nice. And so this one for £2, because the bigger one is great for a whole leg of lamb. Yeah. But this one will fit a chicken, a chicken or, uh, or a bigger joint. bit of beef that I can afford. Or beef, yeah. <laughs> you know, if, if we've got beef too big for that, we need to be moving it into a bigger house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so two pounds, so I was really pleased with that. And also, this will actually sit completely in, I hope, because it's got, yeah. it's got these handles on the side, but I'm hoping that that will sit completely inside the other one. If not, then it's a real estate problem, but. Well, we can get to that when we come. I mean, it would sell for good money as well. Well, I mean, people for what, don't use for them what? a lot. And especially now that the, all the information with um, cost of living and um, gas prices and everything, Ovens, they're saying yeah. cook in the microwave rather than the big oven. Obviously you can't but the thing use is, if you're having a roast, yeah. and I know that everybody started using air fryers, and you can cook a chicken in an air fryer, right. but you can't cook a leg of lamb in one. Right. Well, it's not going to fit, is it? Yeah. No. But I bought it to keep. Yeah. That's a good item. And then also, because I was thinking Christmas, because we could, not that we would ever eat a turkey again. Completely other story, but one year um, on the Boxing Day sales in Tesco's, I bought 11 large turkeys that yeah. all went in the freezer. Yeah. And they were, what, five pounds each, weren't they? Yeah. They were like 20 pounds down to five pounds each. And they helped us out during a rough period in our life. When but we, we had a year of turkey. But we had never eaten oh. turkey again. <laughs> yeah. But I was thinking at Christmas, you know, if you want to do s several different roasts, and yeah. yeah, then you can use two. Because I've got a big range cooker, double oven, so I could have more than one thing going at once. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway. Cool. All right. It's My a keeper. Next item. Um, another camera. Um... Um, I've never bought one of these before. Um, oh, it's another fugly. It's another fugly. Yeah. Here we go. Fugly is it actually camera. a Polaroid? It is. Uh, it's a Fuji film. It's a Fu oh. Fuji film. Instax. 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 Yeah. Instax two hundred. Instant camera. So if you remember, like the Polaroids, where you'd actually get the the. the um, the photo come out instantly. You'd have a photo. Um, it's one of those. Um, so it has a little cartridgey thing. Um, so yeah, I've never, I've never had one of these. I've never used one of these. Um, but um, do they still sell the? Um, but you the can film still get the film for them. The films are quite expensive, but there yeah, are they always were. but there are scenarios where you may want an instant picture to be able to actually show someone. So now, obviously, I'm not going to film test it, but I will check the electronics work uh, and stuff like that. Um, but these are selling between thirty to seventy pounds, and I picked it up for two quid. So and it has its little has its little bag. So. For two quid, I'm well worth um, uh, taking a little chance on that one. Yeah, absolutely. So, okay. What have you got next, Jeff? Uh, this was an, uh, the third thing that I bought on Saturday. On the Saturday, yeah. It was, um, it's a, an apple corer. It's by um, Pampered Chef, I think, this one. And I've been seeing it on their table, whoever sold it to me, the table. I've seen it for quite a few weeks. And right. And been thinking, should I, should I? We don't buy that many, it's, when we do cooking apples, it's like when we're given a whole load and then I'm preparing them all in one go to go in the yeah. freezer. But I thought, well, it, it could actually time, be. would save time, couldn't it? Yeah, could be quite useful. Yeah. So I think I paid Obviously, 50p for that. And Neil saw it and said, oh, a potato wedger. 
Yeah, I thought it would do potato wedges. It's that kind of shape, isn't it? Well, it is, but I just remember many, many, many years ago, my mum bought me a chip machine where you put the potato in there. I press remember the those. Yeah, and it pushes the I never had enough strength to get the potatoes through. Yeah, I wasn't You've either got to do a really small potato or... I was actually thinking for me using it rather than you, so I'd probably have to strength. You might have to stand on <laughs> the side. Stand on it. there. Get down there. It's so much easier just, just to cut it and make wedges. But no, I'm going to use this thing. But I thought, well, for 50p, it's worth trying, seeing if it works for us. If it does, great. If it doesn't, then it can go to a charity shop or yeah. something. So, so are we having wedges for dinner That's tonight? Two. Yeah, we could do. Once I've cleaned it. Well, I mean, it does need a really good clean, but once it's clean, it Won't should take be absolutely clean. fine. Yeah. Right, so how many more bits have you got? You've got a few uh, One, still. two, three, four... Right, I think oh. what we'll do is we'll go to my next items and then we'll come back to yours and then we'll do the okay. show and tell yeah, for... Yeah, could you just push the door to? For what actually sold over the weekend. Um, so, that would be fair. At this, um, at this car boot sale, there was a guy with a rack of shirts. Now, at a completely different boot sale and not from, not from this guy, but from someone else, I have previously bought. Now, can we see that from there? This is a Black Sabbath tour t shirt. Hey, stop it. Can you see that? Black Sabbath tour t shirt. And I, pick, I think I originally picked it up for like four quid, but I paid. So I sold it for. £15.25. Now at the weekend there was a guy and he had this big rail of shirts and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I picked up six of them and I was, um, uh, he was doing three shirts for £5 which was really good. But he also had some other band t-shirts. Jan, can I pass them over? Echo, off you get. Yeah. Can I pass one at a time? This so. is the Kooks. Now obviously I'm putting the shirt between me and the camera. I've got no idea if you can but see that. But it's a rough okay. idea that it will. That's the first one. Uh, and they're, they're all brand new, aren't they? They, you, you can kind of, yeah. Yeah, you can smell that they've never been through the wash. They're brand new. So that's Dream Theatre. I've Theater. never heard never heard of Dream Theatre. No, no, I've But that, that's definitely one of their tour t-shirts. Okay. So again, these were all um, three shirts for five pounds. Then we have another Dream Theatre. So in total, I actually picked Can up... Can you actually see if I'm showing this all right to the camera? Uh, yeah, it looks great. And then we got this one, Love Dream Theatre. Oh, great. Great. And 2012. Uh, let's see if there's anyone. Dramatic got, tour of uh, events. Uh, I think we've also got. I uh, don't know if you've seen that one. I'll swap that one. Oh, this one. Uh, yeah, I think. It just occurred to me that in all the bands that I've seen over over all the years that I used to go to to big events, I don't know that I ever no, I don't think I ever bought a single t shirt. In fact the only memorabilia thing that Wait, I got so was the uh the programme at Live Aid. Right. I did buy that. Or did it come with the ticket? No, no, I bought it. I think when I so that, 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 I think that's the only long sleeve one I picked up, which is a mega def one. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so uh, I picked the picked these up to say, um, Joan kindly. I picked up the first one, and then I mentioned it to Joan. She kindly uh, gave me some more money to go and pick up well, some more. I don't think you even had to ask when you when you said. I've just no, said, you right, just we'll go and get some. Go and get some more. So, so some funds. Con considering that one of them sold for fifteen pound twenty five. Um, and there's 13 of them there now, so, what, 
yeah, it was, was going to be about 175 quid's worth, probably. So I'm going to try and get those up this week. And um, and then the guy said he's actually going to be there next week and that he's still got thousands of shirts. So if they sell, I'll buy more. If they don't, I won't. Mm. Um, but anyway, so that was my last pickup of, uh, of that boot sale. What have you got All next, then? Right. Well, this one, it's a curious little one. It's um, a little paperweight that looks for all the world like a caithness. It, I've never seen a caithness this small except for the pebble. Yeah. But that doesn't mean to say that they don't do them. It is engraved on the bottom and it says Moonstar on the bottom in the same sort of engraving that caithness do. But it doesn't say Caithness and it doesn't say Scotland, mm. so I've got no idea if this... Because Caithness do do a moon star that looks similar, Yeah. but it's slightly but, bigger. Yeah, yeah. I've got no idea. So we're umming and ahhing on the possibilities. That's because it's the um, it's the size. It's not actually big enough to put Caithness on, isn't it? Well, yeah, because the, the flat bit at the bottom that it's, they engrave on is normally... Yeah. Well, because they're normally slightly bigger than this, it's normally bigger. So if anyone knows anything about these smaller uh, uh, paperweights... Yeah, um, well, if Caithness do do a smaller one, or is this somebody else has done a copy? In fact, we'd love a shout out from... Uh, um, from Caithness. Uh, from Caithness <laughs> to let us know if it is one of those. Yeah, do you um, recognise this? Do you recognise this? Are you the crafter who made it? It's um, kind of... Um, Dark purple, white, it's got a little bubble in the middle and quite glittery as well. It's very pretty and I actually paid three pounds for that one. But it's nice though, I isn't it? I could just about in the barn make out that it, because you've just got to ca catch the light at the right angle to see if it's got writing on it. So yeah. I could see that it had an engraved bottom but I couldn't see what it said. But anyway, yeah. who knows with that one. What have you got next, Jen? This one um, caught my eye because I used to have a clock exactly the same as this. I think exactly I've got some same. dog action on the camera there. Uh, did we have a and more? I like to, to pick up cheap clocks because we always have one in the bathroom, which sounds odd. I don't know anybody else who has a clock in the bathroom, but if you're ever getting ready to go out, yeah, it's useful to have a clock there so that you know I love it for got. when I'm laying in the bath. Yeah, when you know lounging. how long you're having to soak for, don't you? When you're lounging in the bath, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I do that. I get in the bath and I, I can lay in there for ages. And so I get in and I think, right, I'm going to allow myself till half past or whatever. Yeah. yeah. That's so nice. It's a nice saw clock. that clock. Um, no idea if it works or not. We'll have to put a battery in it. But it only costs 50p, so if it doesn't, it's no great deal. Yeah. And if it does work, I thought, because we've got our wall clock over here which is you can't see from the computer desk. And when I do a zoom on the computer, I never know if I'm running out of time because I I make the picture big so it knocks yeah, out the clock on clock. it. I'm just going to readjust the camera a sec because it looks like the dog's knocked it yeah, away. We're, we're off centre a little bit. Let's go back to that. Okay. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so it's having a clock. It's good. Yeah, and then on the way to the boot sale, I was saying to Neil, not that I was particularly looking for them, but I was just conversation. I was saying, I need to get some new wellies for the winter. Yeah. Particularly because we go to the, uh, uh, on the uh, winter solstice, we go to the Long Barrow. Yeah. And that involves a kind of trudge across muddy sometimes field. a bit of a muddy field. Yeah. And then when you get there, my feet get very, very cold in the winter. So I said, you know, I need to get some boots. So I thought, well, I'll just keep an eye out. And I happened to notice these, which look very waterproof on the bottom. Yeah. And lovely and fur-lined further up. And they zip up nicely to get into. Yeah, they... Yeah. And they were my size. And I thought, well... Mm, fab. That looks good. How much? And the fur goes all the way down to the, all toes, to the toes. All the way to the toes. Yeah. And the lady wanted three pounds, so I thought, well, perfect. Fab, that's just what you Absolutely want. Absolutely perfect. So I didn't try them on in the barn, because... Yeah. Although I could have sat on my walker and done it, I didn't want to take 
No, yeah. Risk getting sand all over my shoes. But anyway, so, and they barely look as though they've been worn. They've got good tread, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah. But if you look at that, there's no real tread on them. No, there's no real tread loss, is there? I mean, they're not a very expensive brand. They're about 30 quid brand new. Yeah. Ladies snow boots, that's all they are. But they're exactly what I wanted. Waterproof on the bottom, fur lined. Yeah. Three quid. Fabulous. Absolutely perfect. So then, I only had one more thing, and that was the exciting thing. Exciting thing? Exciting thing. I've been looking out for one of these. I saw one, might have been the beginning of this year, or even the beginning of last year. Right. It's the doorstop. It's a weighted doorstop, which I wanted for my room. But didn't buy it last year, because I thought if Echo gets hold of it, she'll eat it. She'll, she'll eat just it, yeah. think, yeah. oh, raggy, and, uh, and shred it. So... And the one that I wanted last year, I think the lady wanted 10 quid for. Ouch. Yeah. And this stall had quite a few. There was this one, a slightly smaller teddy. There was a bunny uh, and a couple of other bits and pieces. Yeah. Um, still got its price label on. When I said how much, she said mm, three pounds. Mm -hmm. But the exciting bit about it was she also had a complete film crew there from the BBC. Yes. <laughs> and I was kind of aware that they were filming this stall, so didn't look directly at them because you don't make eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> so purchased this, put it in my basket, started walking off, and little man came. Well, not a little man, a nice yeah, man. Yeah. A nice man came running after me with, and would you mind signing a release? And I thought, oh god, they did film me. Yeah. Which is quite worrying because. I don't think I'd brush my hair because <laughs> we. I got up and um, I know I cleaned my teeth because on the way there I thought I know I cleaned my teeth because I can taste the toothpaste, but I don't think I've done my hair and I didn't want to look in the mirror just in case. <laughs> By the way, you may have already actually seen that footage because this will be going out after the uh, after us actually going round and I actually got on camera. Jan um, actually being filmed. So Neil was and, filming uh, them filming I was, me. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So you may have already seen and that. And did you film me signing the release and I to did say, say, yes, you can yeah, use my image? Yeah, and that will be that on well. Stacey Solomon's, um, is it Sort Your House Out or Sort yeah, Your Life Out or something? something like that. That. It could be next year, I think he said. Well, yeah, there's not a lot so, of this year left, so I would imagine it yeah. would be next year. So, but, yeah. So anyway, That's I'm cool. famous, yeah. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really cool. Although, saying I'm famous and autographs, it always makes me think back to. I used to um, take a group into Stonehenge on the autumn equinox every year. Yeah. And there was one year we had a helicopter buzzing round. And do you remember those huge old TV cameras? Yeah. There was a guy leaning out of the doorway bit with one of these huge, great big cameras filming us. Never ever found Are you out sure who it was. It a camera, was. not a machine gun. <laughs> but I never found out who it was or yeah. what they were filming. But yeah. somebody that was, yeah, took a lot of trouble to do a lot of filming of of us in there. Yeah, I think it was anybody in there doing a thing. Just kind of... oh, it wasn't us in particular. No. I'm absolutely certain. But the fact Although that... that also used to make me laugh that every year, in those days, um, the car park was the other side of the. Um, of the little road and we'd get there and then change into our robes in the car park when i say change into them they actually go on top of your normal clothes yeah. mostly but you put your robes on in the car park and invariably because we'd book the access for just as um our access would start as it closed to the public so we would yeah. have a private access and generally as we're getting ready all the tourists are coming out and you'd have several coach loads of japanese or chinese tourists yeah who then get all their cameras out. <laughs> and it just makes me laugh that these complete strangers got photos of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Jan, can you uh, clear some of your bits for a sec? And we're just going to very quickly do what sold this weekend. Um, um, well, so, can I just move them across a little absolutely. bit? Absolutely. Just move them across a little bit. I mean, it's not that much stuff, but it's enough to... Uh, And that's my washing machine's just leaked to say it stopped. I hope the sound of it doesn't 
disturbed the filming. Oh, I'm sure. You should have shut the door. I'm sure it'll be fine. Shut the door, really, shouldn't we? Is that enough space? Yep, that's all the items. And the one thing that I sold last week was um, some Cornish pottery, and unfortunately, the plate arrived broken. Yeah. And I padded it out shame. so well. I'm always so careful with my posting. But the chat was really, it was um, like a, a tray plate with an oil jug on it and a little like dipping dish and a condiment pot. And he'd said that unfortunately the plate arrived broken, the other bits are fine. Should we settle on a partial refund? So I just gave him half the money back and he was absolutely fine about that and said thank you for deal with, dealing with it so quickly. But it's a shame, but having said that, the amount that I paid for it and, you know, with the refund and everything, I was still just slightly in profit. Yeah. Right, let's have a little look. Um, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 items that I had to go and pick this morning from the garage. Um, so that's all good. So um, I'm just going to go through reasonably quickly. Um, so there was a baseball cap. This is a H&M Boston Baseball University cap. Um, picked up for a pound, sold for ten pounds. Um, this one is actually going, I think it's going to the States, so it's going by GSP. And is that the first cap that you've ever sold? That is the second, I think, oh, I've oh, ever sold. Oh, so they've started me. Because so, I've yeah. been saying to him all summer, pick up caps. Yeah. I don't know anything about caps at all, but I know other resellers buy them. What? And they're small, they don't take up a lot of real estate. And so I've been saying... I've got about 50 caps listed at the moment, so that's only the second cap listed. Um, I might have the price slightly wrong. Um, so I've put it on for what I think and maybe they will drop down a little bit. So, um, but anyway, so moving on to the next item. The next item we have here is a TU hoodie. Um, this is a, um, this so is actually, Sainsbury's own this brand, is Sainsbury's own brand, but, um, it's actually new with tags. Um, so this again, I think this one would have been about a pound um and it's sold it's sold for 15 pounds so that was worth picking up the next one um i don't know how much i paid for this this is um this is some rollerblades now this is already boxed up there's not a lot to see it's already boxed up uh that's how it went to the garage um but I've lowered my price on some of the things that weren't shifting. So these actually, I took an offer and sold them for six pounds. I think I would have paid three or four. So it's not a great deal of profit, but as you can see, it's a lot of size. Yeah, it takes and, a lot of room. And it? I wanted it shifted as it, as it wasn't moving. Um, so you're gonna see really here that um, you, you guys have probably noticed if you've been watching our films that I've been picking up a lot of jeans and now we're going to move on to why I'm picking up jeans uh, because they're kind of selling um, so we've now got um, let's have a look let's find a number on these is the rest jeans no let's not move on to, let's not do the jeans yet um, so the next thing I've got here is um, a camera um, this is a Kodak uh, Advantex 4 4100 IX um, it's just already wrapped up um, but that's sold for 12 pounds now I would have paid about a pound to 50p for that I expect uh, and it's gone for 12 pounds and that's the Advantex film so it is um, it it's it's the APS film uh, and it a lot of people are thinking well they're not worth a great deal but if you've pick, only picked it up for a pound that's not bad um, the next thing I've got is picked up a um, camera bag might have paid two or three pounds for this um, but it's a camera bag have a look at the picture um, I can't see anything there. So it's really small green and brown isn't that the one I picked up and gave to you? That was three pounds from that was from the Tony been, store. Yeah, that that could have been that one. Yeah. 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 So it went for twelve pound fifty. 
<laughs> I don't think so. You're going to get me to do all the work and then you do the... No. Um, well, Banker Jan needs to charge interest <laughs> So anyway, £12.50. And that, all of these is plus postage. So I actually paid £17.85. Uh, 80, so most of these jeans here would have been bought for a pound or 50p. Um, so moving on to jeans, we have, um, let's try and find the right number. So I'm gonna let you know what they actually sold for. Um, did it, just one of these. Right, um, so this is um, a, De, um, a Dorothy Perkins a pair of jeggings, um, UK 14s. They sold for seven pounds sixty five. Um, next pair, we've got um, let's find it eight. Uh, eight eight five. Here we go. Uh, oh no, eight eight. That's not the one. Here we go. Um, these are Grant Jeans um, men's 36 waist. Um, they actually sold for four, uh, for 17 pounds. So that's that's nice, 17 quid. Mm -hmm. um, then got um, what have we got? Thousand and eighty seven. One thousand eighty seven. So this is M S collection trousers. Um they sold for nine pound fifty. Again I'm thought they'd have gone for more than that being Marks and Spencer's but sometimes I've taken offer on it and it's just a case of you've got to look at what they're kinda of going for. But I say yeah. a pound uh, if it's a pound it's going for and nine pound fifty. Then Absolutely. Oh, got embroidery on this one. This one has nice. got embroidery. Do you want to have a look? This is well, eleven fifty so it, uh, on that side you can. Oh yeah. Eleven fifty I don't know if you can see that it's got What's that? Eleven fifty four, hang on, let's find that. Uh, it's got to be here somewhere. Eleven fifty. Eleven fifty-four. Yeah. So this is uh, M and uh, jeans. Um, UK eighteens. They went for ten quid. Mm -hmm. um, again, I say I picked them up. I think it was like a pound. Um, we've then got eight 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 five eight uh, eight five eight. This is uh, Next Jeans, and they sold for £8. Again, I think that would have been uh, me accepting an offer. I think I normally do them at about 12 to 14 quid. Um, just not bad. We then have uh, 939, if we can find 939. Um... 939 this is a pair of TU jeans UK 12 blue um, and they went for £8.99 which is not bad uh, I don't normally do this with the jeans but let's you know as as this is what's sold I thought it might be interesting to actually see what has sold um, and to give you an idea of why I'm actually picking them up um, because we did have a comment um, I was having a uh, 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 there was a comment on one of the films about why am I picking up jeans? They sell um, what's the soft toys called? What do you call the plush? Plush. They sell plush and do a lot of plush. And I was saying that I'm trying to list ten items a day and trying to find seventy plushes a week could be hard work. Yeah, or jeans. Up to the jeans, you'd focused on cameras and small electrical, hadn't yeah. you? Yeah, and you just can't get that much of it. To be listing 10 items a day. Absolutely. You know, it's 700 items a week. So 700. Not seven, no, it's 70 items a week. 70, yeah, 70, I'm sorry. Not 700, I've only got yeah. half a brain. It's okay. You're Literally. close. There's only one zero off. But anyway, for seven, but also, and I'm looking to try, I've worked out that um, I've learned how to do the photographs for 30 jeans, for, for 30 sets of jeans photos in, in three hours. So 
in the future I could move up to actually doing 30 listings a day and doing that what we're talking about 220 I lost me I clearly can't, <laughs> clearly can't. <laughs> well if it was 20 a day it would be 140 a week so it's actually 210 items a week I would need to resource. Yeah. And trying to do that with plush just or cameras isn't going to happen. Or just general. Yeah. General stuff. But with jeans, and as you can see, if you're buying them for a pound and selling them for 10, there's clearly a profit in there. Yeah, your phone keeps tinging. Yeah, uh, I don't know what it is. It's... Um, Sounds like a message or something. It's, it's not a an message. eBay ka-ching. No, it's not. Um... But anyway, moving on to this last couple. I'm going to have a look at it in a minute after we've done the filming. Uh, yeah, so this this is a next pair of trousers, waist 30, leg 30. Um, these are chinos. Um, you can actually, might actually just about see the label on there. But they've gone for 10 quid. Um, again, you know, if it says next, I'm picking them up because next yeah. uh, are, selling, are selling pretty good. This is a brand I've never heard of. This is um, not that I've heard of many brands. Let's just check what this one is. This number is 1345, which is here. So, oh no, that's a different one I was thinking of. Um, 1345. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, we might have a problem here. The number is 1345 mm. here. This is a pair of John John jeans. Mm. Uh, but I've got a description here of 1345 is Topman jeans. Uh -oh. So what's sold is Topman um, 28 waist, uh, 28 leg. But that's John John jeans. So right. that's, that's going to have to be work out what what's going on with that that's that's a good catch actually um next one is um nine nine eight eight um this is marks and spencer's um women's jeans uh uk 18 blue um you're actually selling quite a lot of ladies ones aren't you Finding i pick up, selling. A, yeah. pick up a, it's, there's more ladies stuff than there is men's and basically, I don't... Yeah, that's because ladies buy them and then don't wear them. We've yeah. all got stuff in our wardrobes that have got price labels on that you think... And I'm not discriminating. I'm basically... Oh, apart, from, no. apart from kit, I'm not not so much picking up the uh, the kids, but basically, when you're looking through, if they're, if they're jeans, you just it doesn't matter. If they're jeans and they're the right yeah. brand, it doesn't matter. You don't have to look at, all, are they men's, are they yeah, women's? No, just pick them up. Um, so these sold for... Uh, what number was that? 988... Uh, I had it here a second ago. Uh, nine eight eight. Yeah, these are Marks and Spencer's jeans, women's UK eighteen, fourteen blue, skinny. Uh, they've sold for thirteen pounds. Um, so yeah, thirteen. I mean that's that's pretty good. Thirteen, I think. Right? Um, last pair here. Coming to the end, guys. Last pair. Um, this number is um, 1000. The number I'm quoting is my SKU number, by the way, for the uh, for storage, so I know what's where. Um, uh, 1073. Uh, this is River Island Jeans Men's. This would have been um, waist 36, leg 34, blue skinny. Um, <laughs> and um, what was funny? You're what's funny is on the list actually it hasn't come up with the price. It hasn't put the price on. Oh. Um, you see at the top there. The top one doesn't have a price that's come out. I'm guessing freebie. <laughs> a freebie. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, guess, right. I'm guessing that that one would have sold for between eight to twelve pounds. Mm -hmm. Um, so again, I mean, it's a nice pair of jeans. Um, so yeah. Um, so that is all of my items that have sold over the weekend. Um, we don't very often do a what sold, but interesting to go through when there is enough to actually go. Yeah, this is what actually sold. Um, so. Although 
I know it's a lot more work, but it would have been nice to have actually put up the pictures on the film of what's sold rather than just showing plastic bags. Don't because know I know that your stock's already put into bags and things. Yeah. But... Yeah, it would be nice. Maybe when it gets to the edit, maybe I'll put them up. Maybe I won't. We'll see how it goes. Well, it's just I know that you have an awful lot of work with the edit to do. I mean, yeah. as it was, we've just put out a film. Um, and then turned around to me after it had uploaded and said, oh, that one I've just put out, I've just found hours worth of your footage. Two and a half hours one. worth of Jan's footage that should have gone on that film. Or, so it was mine and it should have combined Jan's. Um, so I'm never doing two and a half hours worth of footage at the same boot sale. My yeah, there no, was. my batteries don't last that long. There was, trust me. I, I sat there editing it last night. There was two and a half hours worth of film going round at the... Coinings, I think it was. But anyway, um, anyway, I've got it down to less. I, I made it, it more interesting. With uh, there was a lot of well, a lot I was of. Say my, my batteries don't last. There was that a lot long, of seeing so... your your. Um, there was a lot of seeing your basket. Uh, yeah. But anyway, well, it's no problem. If, if I've got a, a chest mount on, Absolutely. and I've got my walker in front of me, that's why I don't like doing it so much because you see more of. The basket. the basket and the walker than you do of what's actually on the Absolutely. table. Absolutely. But anyway, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you've seen anything, you, I would love some comments. We'd love to know where you guys are from when you're watching. Um, if you just want to say, and if where you're, you're resellers from. as well, yep. you know, we know that we do have resellers in our audience. So, hello, reseller, where you're from? That would be great. We would love that. And what you focus on selling, because I think yeah. we all have our own kind of niches that you fall into really you know i mainly get china and um well mainly china and crockery and things yeah because you can see when you buy it whether it's okay or not you don't have to test it see the well that's see the chip or it's not that's what i get with the jeans it is is very and 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 some of the clothing is very much a case of it's not like a camera um it's a case of you check the groin and then is it distressed jeans or not uh, and it, does the fly work and does the button work um but even with that you know buying all the mugs that i do i kind of fell into it by accident i didn't wake up one morning and think i'm going to be a mug reseller it was just that you kept having accidents with my bone china mugs so i thought yeah. well i'll pick them up at boot sales for me and i was picking them up for pennies yeah and knowing how much they are in shops then there was one particular one that I didn't really like. I bought it for 20p. It was bone china, but I just didn't really like it that much. And I thought, I'm going to sell that because yeah. I've been using it. But <laughs> it's stupid, really. It was in the cupboard and I was getting annoyed because he kept putting tea in it. <laughs> and it's like, it's you, like, I don't like this. If you don't like it, don't have it in the cupboard. So in the end, I thought, well, I'll just yeah. list it. And I thought, nobody will buy it because it's horrible. <laughs> but it actually sold for about nine quid. So yeah. So now I, I... And that also, there was that mug that I picked up for 50p that I sold. Yeah, I think it went out to America. That one went for 26 quid or something. Yeah. And, you know, there's something just flips in your brain at this point and you think, mm, mugs. <laughs> <laughs> Which is kind of what I did with cameras. I mean, I like cameras anyway, but it was kind of like, oh, they're selling. And you, then you pick up, you know, it's like uh, picking up a camera for, for 10 quid and selling it for 110 quid. It's like, oh, I'll do that again. It makes yeah. sense. And, you know, you know we, we don't have children. We've got no idea what toys are in fashion and what kids want to play no. with these days. So we don't pick up. I've never. Neither of us. We've picked up a couple of plushies over the yeah, but that new, for me well, they've never what, really sold well. Eighteen months we've been doing it. Yeah, no, I I don't even. I think I've maybe sold one. Yeah, I mean, so I mean, I've I've sold a couple of the um uh, the meerkat toys and um, oh, I've sold meerkats because um, at the beginning I was picking up meerkats and yeah. uh, one of them actually. I didn't get all the money because it went on global shipping to Australia, but somebody had spent over thirty quid on it. I think yeah. I think I only got about ten quid for it, if that. Yeah, but but you know the amount postage. of money that some people will actually spend on them to go overseas, but that's up to them. So, it's their money. So I think what we've done is is we've bought a range of things. I mean, like for for a while I, I was picking up. Um, um, uh, games consoles and games and and stuff like that and um and it's just kind of 
I think you look at what what you pick up you see how quickly it moves you see what kind of profits you can get so for example on the jeans if you think about it if I picked up a games console for 20 or 30 pounds that may only double its money for that 20 or 30 pounds if I if let's say 20 pounds if I if I then if the games console only doubles its money if I pick up 20 pairs of jeans that I pick up for a pound or 50p and then sell them individually for 10 I, times that amount for 10 times 10 that amount it's definitely worth a lot more in putting my money into buying jeans because I'm going to get a way bigger return um, and they're more readily available you go to probably any car boot sale and there's going to be a pair of jeans but I think I've just kind of reverted back to type because we've been boot sailing for forever ever since boot sales started I've been going and I'm just buying stuff for me now yeah yeah but then I'm buying it things like the roaster I'm buying it thinking well if I decide later on I don't want it I can always send, sell it on but right now it's kind of and the clothes horse yeah I had one years ago and it moved out with one of the kids at some point and but they're so useful and they're so strong compared to the yeah the the metal ones that are covered in plastic Anyway, I think we're at about point of wrapping the film up. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Have you got anything else you wanted to add? No? no. Excellent. Well, it's been great doing a film for you this morning. I hope you've enjoyed it. Consider, no, subscribe. If you've got to this point, subscribe to the channel if you haven't and, already. Uh, when you subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll be um, told when anything goes up. Um, I was going to say, now, now that we're off season, because... Last year, we did quite a few rain, rainy Sunday shows. Yeah. Where if the boot sales were rained off, then we would do a live rainy Sunday show. Yeah. I don't think we've done one this year. I think we did one live, but... No, we haven't done many lives. We'll probably get back into doing a few more lives. The other thing for the end of this film, if you're still watching, we've had a couple of people do this before. If you're still watching, drop a comment down, still watching. Love to know you're still there. Anyway, hope you guys Not enjoyed it. still watching. <laughs> Well, do a hashtag still watching if you want to do a hashtag still watching. If, you, if you've got an ordinary keyboard, not an Apple, because I still don't know where the hashtag is. No. But keyboard. anyway, I um, hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll catch you on the next one. Yeah, take care. Bye.